Kia ora, welcome to Cultural Creations Waste Nothing Crafts. This is my first ever tutorial that I'm ever going to put on. Um, that's the start of something new for me. So, what my first tutorial is, of course, is how to make alcohol inks. And the reason I want to do the alcohol inks is, as my first tutorial is because I'm actually currently doing a piece and I want to try out alcohol inks. I've never tried them before, so this is something new. Uh, I wanted to try the homemade solution rather than go and buy me alcohol inks because I want to learn how to use them first before I go and spend lots of money on expensive stuff and um, <clears throat> not know how to use it properly. So I'd rather make me some alcohol, alcohol inks and um, test them and learn how to use, the, use them with the cheap cheap version before I do any of that. So, cutting to the chase. Uh, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on how to make alcohol inks, so I've um, had a look at what I've got at home. Um, I needed to go and purchase the isopropyl alcohol, which is the alcohol they talk about, the 100% um, proof alcohol. Uh, this one I bought from a paint shop. I went all over town trying to find it here in New Zealand and, and where I live and couldn't find it until I went to a paint shop which is where I should have gone in the first place. So this is called isopropyl alcohol and the cost of this bottle here which is a litre is $16.95 um, here in New Zealand. So I'll just give you a of a squiz of how that looks. So that's isopropyl alcohol and this is one litre. I'm not sure how many things I can get out of this but I'll give it a go anyway. It, it can be used for lots of uses but this is the one I want to use it for. Now the other thing I have is terry dyes. Now these terry dyes are made in Christchurch here in New Zealand and they were used, I bought these for flax work, a dyeing flax to make weaving. And I've had them for a while, so I'm glad I've still got them. So these are called terry dyes. The other one that you would use is the RIT liquid dyes or powder dyes, RIT RIT dyes. Those are the other ones you would use for alcohol ink if you don't have any. So these here, when I purchased them, which was a couple of years ago, they were $8 a bottle. And this is... Oh, it doesn't have a... 250 mils. This is 250 mils. So that's what this is. <clears throat> so, thank goodness I've got them all and I can actually make one of these. Now these I went and purchased at the $2 shop. They're spray, little spray, basic spray bottles. We call it, I think, a $2 shop. And you can get two of these and you get two bottles with the lids, two plain bottles with the lids, and they are, it's two dollars for four bottles. So, roughly what a lot of them were saying is if you put more parts, let's hope this fits in here, yay, my funnel, I don't have a smaller funnel, sorry, so, um, <clears throat> but here it goes, that's what I've done with it, to try and get it in there. I don't want to waste anything that I precious, so excuse me one way. Right now that's all gotta stay, so alright. Just so I can undo the bottle. So I got this one from this one from uh, Rebecca's Grip on the YouTube. This is the recipe that she gave for her inks, and I've never tried it, so I'm I'm just going to give this a go and see how we go. So the formula for it was half a cup of the uh, alcohol, uh, half a cup won't fit in these little bottles, so. I figured it would be half a bottle. What sh what's, what a majority of them are saying is that if you put <clears throat> th 
three quarters of what you're filling up with the alcohol base and then just get the terry dye or the dye that you're going to refill it with this here is a purple now for the one Rebecca Scraps she's got two teaspoons of liquid dye I'm going to use I was going to tip this in here, but I've just realised I don't want ink all over my one coloured ink, so got the bowl over there. Let's just tip the dye in there. useless. There you go girl. I tell you it looks awesome. Sorry excuse me how messy. I am a first timer and it shows. I so don't want to waste that so. Ugh. Of course you're going to shake, 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 shake. This reminds me of gentian violet, if you don't know what that is, it's like an old medication we used to use. So that's a, a purple, I actually really do like, purple is one of my favourite colours, so excuse me, I'm trying to... Alright, so that's one messy one done. And the other colour I wanted to try. Look, I'm getting people all over this, but. I've got a better, cleaner way of doing it. Awesome. Alright. Let's open now. Sorry, I'm just out of focus for a while. I'm just taking lids off things. Okay. So, three quarters of the bottle. I just, I didn't want to use this on the ink because I don't want to get the ink on the inside because I use this for more than just... <clears throat> I don't want the dye on the inside and it's mixing in the other things so the other things I use it for okay so the next colour I want is blue now the thing for me is this blue kind of looks purple I don't know if I want to use that one um, people almost told you first time for everything all right let's put you in here Try the red. I tend to always double doubt myself, so I need to cut that out. But let's put this one in here, so roughly two teaspoons. Oh, it's a lot tidier with that one. Awesome. That's supposed to be red. I've put a lot more ink in this one as opposed to the other one because it looked it looks a lot duller. We'll soon see. 
Okay. Now, so these are two dollar bottles, so hopefully, I tell you, I try to do everything on a budget. Awesome. Best way to do things. Homemade on a budget. Just move stuff out of the way and let's see how it works. Clean all that up in a second. Okay. This here is roughly my little fancy little spray box. If I can get that under there so you can see it. So this is just <coughs> A normal A4 basic paper um, for printer. I just want to test how the sprayer works. Wow. So that's the red, but it's kind of come out pink rather than a red. So I suppose if I put more red in there, it might come out darker. Let's try that, eh? I'll put some more red in, and we'll just just to test how how it comes out. If it stays the same, then I would say put in less alcohol. You, you're just going to have to try. Either watch a professional doing it and have a better look at what they're doing, or. try as you go along to either put in less alcohol and more ink or less ink. I would say less alcohol if you don't forget to shake it. Shake, shake, shake. So it's still the red. We'll just see how that comes out. Oops, excuse me. That's two dollar spray bottles not turning out too awesome. So that's your split. What do you think? I like it. It's just the two dollar split bottle. Mm, I might have to rethink. Test those bottles out. Well, <coughs> thing you, the thing that happens when you're only having a two dollar spray when you're buying things from the cheaper shop. <coughs> But what I'm doing now is I'll just pr try practice this other one, and I'll just do this. Wow, yep, no, that's really nice. All right, so let's just. So what I would recommend is just test them all out, have a play, but it definitely works. So I would recommend going to get the isopropyl alcohol. And the reason you would do it is because it's cheaper to buy that than buying to buy going to buy the smaller bottles. More expensive, especially if you're first timer like me. Okay, so go out, have fun, give it a go. As it is Matiwa, hey corner, until next time.